Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about a very useful extension that you can use that's going to help you prevent yourself from getting hacked and uh, really prevent yourself from engaging with any malicious websites or transactions and so on and so forth. So I do want to talk about Phantom Wallet and MetaMask in, these video, in this video because I did get hacked on both of them. So initially the Solana hack happened August 2022 and a lot of people had a bunch of issues with their Solana wallets and maybe I got the delayed effect and I just got my tokens hacked or I got my wallet hacked recently and thank Thankfully, I didn't have an, a lot on the wallet. I just had like $200 or 200 Radium tokens, I think, 228 staked on the Radium um, platform. And they ended up withdrawing them and then sending them to their wallet because I checked the transactions of the wallet and I never withdrew my tokens and I never sent them to anyone else. So someone got access to my wallet and I did have that wallet for quite a while and I don't remember using it for any other websites other than Solanium or uh, Radium. But the, the second wallet that I had hacked was the MetaMask wallet and this one is very weird because I only used the Moonbeam uh, platform as the, as the app so I never connected to any other apps. And I got hacked. So basically what happens is that whenever you send money to your MetaMask, the tokens get withdrawn. So you send some tokens to your wallet and they immediately get withdrawn. So someone somehow placed this smart contract into my wallet or I don't even know how they do it. If you, if you have any idea, let me know. But whenever I send something, it gets sent automatically to the hacker. So the question is right now, if I start withdrawing my GLMR from the Moonbeam staking, will those tokens remain in the wallet or will they get sent to the hacker as well? Because technically I wouldn't be sending the tokens to my wallet from the Moonbeam platform because I'm just going to be withdrawing them from the staking. So let me know if you had this happen to you. It's very annoying. I'll be honest. Um, I don't have a lot of money on these decentralized wallets except for one other wallet that I'm not even going to name for the sake of security, but I'm definitely not using MetaMask. I'm not using Phantom. I'm not going to be using most of these decentralized wallets because they are not protected whatsoever. And it's very, very risky, guys. And uh, if you had anything like this happen to you, let me know what's your story down below. Hopefully you didn't lose a lot of money. But with the f with the MetaMask hack, I think I lost about $85. And uh, it happened to me twice, actually. So the first time with MetaMask, it happened a few months ago. So I created a new wallet specifically for Moonbeam. And it happened once again just a week ago or a few days ago. And now I, I can't send anything to this wallet. And the only thing that I can do now is I withdrew one token from the Moonbeam staking just to see if it gets uh, withdrawn to my wallet or does it get automatically sent to the hacker. So I just withdrew one token just to see how, what's going to play, what's going to happen, and it's going to take six days for that to play out. And this uh, 0.99 GLMR was there for a long time, so I don't know why they didn't withdraw this either. But it's a really weird situation, and I did reach out to MetaMask support team. I haven't gotten a response yet. They usually respond pretty quickly, but there's nothing they can do. They're not going to reimburse me, obviously. And I went through the Phantom Wallet hack search on Twitter, and a lot of people seem to be affected by this. Not as many uh, as have been affected by MetaMask, although I can't really verify that. But Solana is usually not as secure. I would say that's why I'm assuming that a lot of people got hacked. But with MetaMask, it's, and it's been on the internet for way longer than Phantom. If we take a look at this, for example, uh, Phantom has blocked several websites connected to Azuki official hack and wallet drain to keep its users protected. Do not click any links. So these wallets need to uh, somehow figure out uh, their security issues because it's not normal like I haven't used any other apps besides the Moonbeam network so how is anyone able to access my wallet and set it up in a way where if I send anything to the wallet it gets immediately sent to the hacker now one of my patrons suggested I use pocket universe and I was not aware of this and this is a really good extension free extension that you can use 
So you get automatic pop-ups. You'll see a pop-up on every signature will show you what assets are affected. So they have scam detection. So see clear red warnings if the transaction is trying to steal your assets. Currently on Ethereum and Polygon, more chains are being added soon. Let us know which ones you want. So uh, you have Polygon and Ethereum and Arbitrum here on the side. And rewards to top it off. Sign in to be eligible for reward, uh, referral rewards. Get a free month of Premier Mode. So they also have a Premier or Premium Mode. Basically, they go through this process with you. And I have it set up already. So I'm not going to be, uh, hopefully not going to be affected by any malicious activity. But you can see that they are also insuring you up to $2,000. So they're so confident that you'll get back $2,000 if you lose assets to a signature that we don't warn you about. You get 50% of the transaction's value up to $2,000 insured for free, no strings attached. So basically they give you 50% of the transaction back and what you can do is you can activate it and continue. You're insured for 50% up to $2,000 and you can check out your referrals and you can refer your friends get some bonuses for that, I guess. You can invite a friend, you can activate, and you get rewards, an extra 10% of coverage. So this is a very useful tool you can use, and uh, these are the examples of these uh, drain your wallet uh, phishings or hacks that people do, and uh, here are the three examples that they can use to protect you from. So which steals your ERC20 tokens using known trusted DEX protocols, and sometimes they pretend to be airdrops, claims, mints, We've had those, obviously, and here are some uh, frequently asked questions you can look at. If we jump into their uh, Twitter page, they have 31.2 thousand followers, and let me know if you've uh, done your research into this, guys, but from what I've seen, it, it is legit, and it does help out. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to cover this video, and this is just a warning for you guys. I would say avoid, you know, having a lot of money on one decentralized wallet that's not really safe. So try to protect yourself, try to use cold wallets. Those are better, obviously, more safer. And uh, just yeah, stay away from these unsafe websites. Don't connect your wallets to any website, any random websites. You can either have a specific wallet that you use that doesn't have any money for these websites just to verify information, but definitely keep your wallets safe and away from connecting to any websites if you have a lot of money there. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching, guys. Ho hopefully you stay safe from all these malicious activities and these hackers. They're not going to go away, guys. We just have to get better at our security. Take care and goodbye.